Hi guys, um, you are welcome to this uh, presentation. Um, my name is uh, Mr. Clement, the founder of Clem Designs Technology. We are web developing a company in, uh, based in uh, Nigeria. So today I bring you another presentation on banking system. As I said uh, earlier in my previous videos, uh, that uh, we've been getting a call from students who wants uh, uh, online banking a system to complete their school projects. So we already made some videos some weeks ago, and uh, today I'm bringing you another fresh video on our uh, new latest uh, script on banking a system. So we make this video for students who really need it for their school project and also those who want to go into any other uh, microfinance uh, banking uh, uh, business online. So if you need a script, uh, we, you can contact us for the script or you, you want us to build a full banking uh, system for you, you can also uh, chat us or WhatsApp us. This is our number. Sorry for this. This is our number here. A number on if you check on the login page of the of the bank system we already have our contact here with which you can chat us and also this is our full contact like uh, this is the number for you to whatsapp or call then uh, this is our email address and uh, this is our website for more information so we just uh, do this video for just a demo purpose it doesn't contain any personal information or any real bank uh, information it's not a real bank it's just a demo bank for us to show you how the banking system functions so that's it then i'm going to walk you through step by step on the functions of this banking system for which we have made the first one is going to be we enrolling a student like maybe you're enrolling a customer into the bank so we have to click on this button that says enroll from the login interface you see the enroller link so you have to choose an account of which you want to open let's say uh, we use the prime uh, standards finance uh, it's not that there is a real bank we just use it for this demo purpose so i'm going to choose this uh, what that says um, a personal uh, account package so i'll have to click on this button that says uh, continue but if you already have an account you just click on this one that says back to login but let's uh, uh, click on this continue to see the uh, account filling a uh, form the account opening form sorry then here is the terms and conditions of the of the bank so you have to agree to their terms and condition after reading it if you agree to that you click on accept but if you decline that means uh, you don't want an account so let's say i want the account i will have to click on i accept then from there you get this uh, uh uh, forms to fill the first name the last name the middle name the username then the email so after you fill in this uh, then you have to click on next until you feel you complete the, uh, the registration uh, sys, uh, process then the next thing now I already have an account so I'm going to log in into the account that I created so that I will show you how the bank uh, function so I have to go back to the login uh, uh, panel here I'm going to uh, first of all enter my account uh, uh, number then I will choose a password for this this is uh, just a demo account it doesn't it's not a real account so it's just a demo account for us to explain and uh, uh, show you the procedures of this uh, bank so I'll have to click on this button that says uh, proceed So as I do that now, you see now it logs me into the bank. So if you check, this is the user interface of the bank. Like the transaction that you have made already, all of them will be there. You can print your account statement and all that. Then here now is the card, like the virtual cards, you understand? Like you, you want a, a, this card for transaction, you know, you already have your card. Then this is the amount inside the, uh, uh, the card, you understand? This is the amount inside that uh, card the money that is inside the card is the account the card the number the the expiring date and the name of the card holder you understand then the back the back of the card then the c civil uh, number then you if you want to even add a more card you can click on this uh, plus sign here that says a uh, 
add card you understand you can click on the plus sign to add a more card so here now you fill out the card uh, type like the visa card you understand you have to enter the card number then you have to enter the card expiring date and the ccv number then after that you click on this uh, add card as you do that the admin uh, will have to uh, approve the card so that you can make use of the card so you understand so like if you check this particular one now is uh, active that is the one i already added before you understand so you can add more then another thing is uh, like the profile you can go down to your profile you understand like uh, um, you can uh, update your security questions then uh, even uh, your ident identification card which is the the uh, kyc you understand like uh, your driver license your international passport you can use it to verify this account to make sure that the account is active then the admin have to have to approve it so that's it then the next is like uh, you want to update your nest of kings you understand like the nest of kings and uh, you can update uh, your nest of kings you understand like the nest of king you put in the name of the nest of king the address the email and the phone number and you update it then the next thing again is uh, this uh, a bank system also has a, 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 a crypto uh, transaction uh, method you understand like if uh, somebody want to like uh, uh, do transfer now you understand you can do even a crypto transfer because you can also use a crypto to fund your account like uh, bitcoin ethereum you understand litecoin and all that you see they are all here like if you want to do bitcoin transfer you want to do the uh, uh, ussd the uh, usa ussd uh, dt transfer then this one is the ethereum transfer and the litecoin you understand the one you want to do you just click on it for example i want to do bitcoin a transfer you understand i can also do this a uh, bitcoin uh, transfer then this the wallet ID is already there. The Bitcoin wallet ID is already there. Then the amount you want to put in is already there. Then the receiver ID, the wallet ID of the receiver is already there. So you put in the ID of the person, you put in the amount of Bitcoin that you are transferring to the person, and it will be done. Another thing is, uh, you know, like if you want to initiate a transfer, you want to initiate a transfer, you can do international transfer. Uh, local bank transfer like bank to bank and also country to country transfer you understand so let's say for example i want to do a transfer now first of all i have to uh, add in a, a, a beneficiary you understand click on this uh, button that says uh, add the beneficiary for example now the beneficiary name i have to add in the beneficiary name let's say let's say let's say uh fits Fate demo. Let's like say, for example, if you just say a demo account, I can just say Fate demo. Then I can just add in the email, the recipient email. Then at the uh, the currency, I have to add in the currency, the country. Let's say I'm still making it uh, United States. Let's say United States of America. Then at the the name of the bank, I can say something like a demo bank. Demo bank. That's the name of the bank because it's just for a demo purpose. Then they have to add in the account number. Then the Swift code, I add in the Swift code. You understand? Then the then then uh, the address, the bank address. I just add in a something like this. You understand? Then the beneficiary account type. Let's say I'm making it a savings account. Then the uh, IBAN number. I just just put a number there for just like. The IBAN, just put in the number there, and I will have to save this. So once I save it now, the next thing now is to click on it. Uh, you see, you have uh, successfully added uh, a beneficiary. Then the next thing now is to do to do the the transfer. Then, if I want to do this transfer now, I have to do uh, click on this one that says next on the persons I want to the beneficiary I want to do that transfer for. I have to click on next. Then here now I have to select the kind of transfer I want to make. Let's say I want to do international transfer. You understand? I have to do it. Uh, for, uh, let's say from one country to another country. You understand? So I have to click on this one. This is the international transfer. So it's not loading the wire transfer. Then the the first thing now is to it asking me for the COT code. 
of that uh, uh, account. Let's say the COT code, I have to enter my COT code. Say congratulations, your COT code is uh, valid. You understand? So that's it. Then I'll have to let it to load for the IMF uh, code. So I'll enter the IMF code. I will submit it. Then the next code now is going to ask for is the task code. Then I'll enter my task code and I will validate it. Then uh, the next thing now, you see now it's already validated it. Then the next thing now is going to, I'm going to enter the amount I want to transfer. Then I have to enter, let's say for example, I want to transfer something, uh, um, $200. Then the, the narration, I have to enter the narration, which is, uh, let's say for example, uh, good uh, purpose, for example. You understand? Then I have to click on this that says the uh, transfer, the button that says transfer. All right. So the, the system now have already sent me an OTP code for me to validate that transfer. So I have to grab that OTP code from my email. Let me pause this video first to grab the OTP code. Alright, so I have received the OTP code on my email, so I have to open that email to grab the OTP code. So, I have to grab the OTP code from here. Look at the OTP code. I will grab it. Then, I will go back to I will go back to the site and uh, paste it. Sorry, I'll have to proceed. So you see now the process has been completed. That the, the transfer now is what uh, successful. You see, is a transaction a confirmation? You have success, successfully uh, transferred the two hundred dollars to the account uh, with the names. You understand? So that is it. So once you click on this uh, uh, button now, say close, then you see you're going to see the the transfer uh, history. You understand? So the transaction date you are going to see it there. The account number. That's uh, the account uh, reference number. You are going to see it there. The sender name. You see it there. Then uh, the the purpose of uh, sending it, you are going to see it there. So that is just it. Also, they are going to still give you this notification on your email. So that is it. Then the next thing now is uh, is uh, like the. Let me also walk you through the admin session of the of the website. You understand? Let's go down to the admin session of the website. Like this one as well like if you want to now make deposits you know still on that uh, user area if you want to make deposit you can make deposits here like the bitcoin deposit or flutter wave you understand btc or bank uh, deposit you understand you know like you want to deposit into your account you understand so you have a different deposit method there so that's it then uh, this one as well is you, know, you want to like uh, do uh, this uh, uh, 
Now you want to do uh, a cash deposit through MoneyGram, you understand, Western Union, you understand, so you can do that with that. So this is the admin uh, section of the, of the site. And here now you can do a whole lot of things here, like, uh, you know, like if you want to approve a card for users, like the vi virtual card, and yes, you want to approve a card for users, you can approve it here as the admin. Then if you want to uh, update uh, update uh, user's account as well, you know, just click on the uh, edit a customer account, you can edit it from here. So it's going to load in the accounts of which you have there. You understand, like here now you can edit it. Look at the edit button. Like if you want to edit that account, you can edit the account. So like changing up the pin and all that. Like if I want to still add the profile image to an account, let's say I want to add a client a photo, you just uh, uh, click on the uh, add a, just click on this and say add a client photo. Then you have to select the photo you want to add, but the photo must be renamed with the account uh, username. You understand? So that's it. Let's say I want to search for an image I want to add in there. Um, let's say I want to let me search for an image to use. Okay, let's say this is one I want to use. It's just it's not it's not a new person. Uh, just for. A, a practice a purpose you understand so i'll just select that uh, image i will add it in there you understand so uh, i will have to click on this that say uh, upload the image are you getting it so that's it once you've done that the the image have to appear on that uh, person's uh, account So once I go back to the person's uh, account now, you see that the image will be there. You see now the profile image is already there. So that is just it. So you see that this uh, bank uh, system has a lot of function. Even like uh, if you want to approve a billing code like the COT code, IMF code, or if you don't want them to ask for that code, here is where you still do it. You understand? You select the person. You understand? You select the say request for billing code. But if it's only like you want to make it only one code or two codes, you understand, you can still do it here. You can say uh, move to the uh, task code page. That means only task code you are requesting for. Or move to IMF page. That is only for IMF. But if you only choose uh, no billing code, OTP, you understand, I mean that you have to be only OTP that they will request for. So that is, that is it. So you see that this system is a very cool system. Then also like you can uh, set up a security question for your customers like uh, maybe they lost their password or you want to update their password they can ask for this uh, security question or maybe as they are registering they can also ask for this uh, security question then the id that is uh, the kic id identification this is where you can also approve uh, identification for customers before they can be able to log in you understand like you can update it you understand so that that's it so like loan it also has a loan system like you can uh, create a loan for customers you understand so that's it like if you check here now you see that uh, these are the loan uh, request you understand if you want to edit it from here now you can decide to approve it or decline it so that's it so it has a whole lot of function then the next one is uh, the you know the transaction crypto transaction uh, system you understand so this is where you get the crypto transaction system as well you can set it up like those uh, who who deposit with a uh, bitcoin and all that so this is where you can as well uh, approve uh, approve it or decline it then credit slash uh, debit like you want to credit a user's account or debit from a user account so this is where you can also do it you understand low if i want to credit this guy now i can still like him here credit the the user you understand so like this one is a crypto top up like you want to top up that person's crypto account and enter the amount of btc or you understand so the btc address everything is already there so that's just it so it's a cool system so if you need this uh, 
If you need this is a bank system, you can you see that the, the bank system has a very nice uh, interface. You understand with all functions and that. You understand? So that's it. Like let's say for example, I want to go back to the main page of the website, the dashboard of the website. Okay, get it here now. You see that this it has a very nice function, you know, and also a very very high cache layer. Uh, interface so that's it thank you for watching this video so if you if you want this uh, script you can call us or whatsapp us to get the script so thank you for watching bye